Ferrari. Hey, every blueby, it's me again here with him again here. Munch and A Drive, in case you didn't know. But welcome back to the Pokemon Sun and Moon Egg Lock, Cage Lock. Last time we took on Olivia in the Grand Trial and had our second Grand Cage match. And oh man, it went down, Dan. It went down. So definitely check out that episode if you missed it on Dan's channel. And today, of course, we're heading off, uh, I believe, to the Hanno Grand Hano. Resort. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna head to the Hanno Grand Resort. We got invited by Faba, and uh, you're gonna want to check out that last episode, guys. It was pretty intense, but we've got uh, we've got a pretty interesting episode headed for us today. We got yep. a great question of the day, and if you enjoy this series that we're doing, and you like Munch, the Orange Senpai, the Orange Master, <laughs> show a little some orangey love. here. Hit that like button for him, man. Yep, hit that like button. Show your support, guys, and let's get to it. I'm actually a little bit behind, but this Hanno Grand Resort, man, looks pretty awesome. I am just gonna get my Wild Encounter, and then I am done on this resort, and then we are headed to find out what Faba wanted. I have no idea what he could possibly want, but I just want to get an encounter. I like ran out of a repel. I didn't even realize I still had one running, but I actually sorry. did remember. Oh, sorry, you. nice. Um, I, I have two dead Pokemon with me right now that I definitely need to deposit. So yeah, I'm gonna do that in just so a little the, bit. The captures, you can get them at the at the. All yeah, the way I'm the just end of the got beach. a little distracted by this lovely lady here. Oh man, I didn't even realize my Comfey <laughs> wasn't even healed up or anything. Uh, yeah. So in between episodes, I did use the Rainbow Beans uh, to get my Pokemon to higher affection. I didn't fully get them where they need to be just yet because I do have, uh, like, you can only do Pelago so much. So we'll try to get that set up for the yeah. next few episodes. But I do have uh, a couple Pokemon with the, um, you know, the proper hearts affection. <laughs> I've got Pom Pom at literally one HP here. <laughs> yeah, you might want to switch, man. Yeah. I Watch out for Pursuit, though. Uh, I sh no, yeah, okay, I it doesn't have Pursuit. I kind of want to risk the, the Quick Ball, but that sucks. I worked for me, but I don't think it's worth losing another Pokemon, man. Yeah, for sure, man. It's just kind of sucks that I keep having, like, one, I didn't get a chance to heal there. Two, my Pokemon happened to be super beat up, so I can't even go for Yeah, the I want to heal now. too, actually, myself. I'm going to go do that. I'm going to go heal, because I think now that we can, now I that we've been here, balls. yeah, we can fly back to the, the resort now, so now yeah. that we've been here, it's nice. So I, th right. I don't know if dive balls work unless you catch them in the water. Yeah, it says Pokemon that live underwater, so I assume kind yeah, of Staryu lives you underwater. You can use a net ball, though. Net ball. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any of those. <laughs> really? I thought we picked them up randomly. Nope. Um, And I'm... Yeah, I don't even know. I'm, I think I'm gonna kill this thing regardless. Let's just go for the faint attack. Does oh that boy. do? Does that do a set damage? I don't damage? think it'll kill. No. no, it won't kill. It's um, I always confuse it with Nightshade, which does set damage. So yeah, you're good. Anyway, yeah, I'm good, man. I should be able to catch the Staryu. Neither of us got the um. Oh, nice. Thanks for the dry. Oh, skin. you got the dry skin to heal you <laughs> from the water type moves. All right. Oh my gosh, paralysis! You gotta be kidding me. Not too shabby. I'm gonna switch out my Staryu here and just hatch an egg while you're doing that. No problem, dude. Neither of us ran into Sandy Gas though. Like, I mean, I guess it's I think pretty low, right? Percent, yeah. Yeah, so it's a it little bit little unlucky. Bit you know what? I believe in the dive ball. It might not be the ball for Staryu. Excuse me, but I believe in it. <laughs> I think this is going to be a bug Pokemon. I'm really feeling it this time. But we got a great question of the day for you guys today oh, yeah. as we try to catch Pokemon Hats and Eggs. I know, right? <laughs> uh, what is the coolest vacation you have been on? If you've been on any vacations, if you haven't, you can tell us about the coolest field trip or whatever you may have done. Let us know in the comments section below. You got any cool vacations or stories? Execute! Yo! A Lolan Executor! Oh my gosh, it can happen for it real. It can happen! It can actually happen. And hey, we were talking about that during the... That's the, actually... I'm excited about yeah, this one. Yeah, during the grass Pokemon question, we were like, yo, a little Executor, that's pretty dope grass type there. And of course, it's Dragon too, so... I'm pretty Eugene. hyped that you got that, dude. I'm pretty hyped that you got that. I've got Eugene <laughs> on my team, and uh, you might not know the reference to Eugene, but on Definitely Halloween, <laughs> on Halloween, I decided to make myself a floating head on my Twitch stream. And as I was a floating oh. head... I decided to put my head on the executor body on my stream, so I was one of the three executor heads, and uh, Eugene is the the tail on the executor. Oh, really? He's kind of a jerk. So Eugene is the one who actually runs the whole the whole you know the whole shebang here. So. Oh, yeah, I should probably just fly to a. Pokemon oh wow! Center. It's got egg moves. Yes, dude, that is so sick. Giga Drain. <laughs> Giga Drain hypnosis. Oh my curse. gosh. I well, know. I am not looking forward to facing that executor, man, but... I'm gonna get him up to 22, where But I hope that belongs. goes uh, awesome for your Did team. Did you catch your Staryu? Yeah, I got the Staryu. It took a little bit, but I'm heading back to the Pokemon Center now to hatch my eggs, because like I said, two of my Pokemon died, 
not actually to the cage match or whatever, but to Olivia. To actually. Olivia, yeah. So you get to choose. You get some. Oh, uh, hey, why are you here? <laughs> yeah, this is the wrong spot for you. Um, you get to choose some pretty cool Pokemon. I guess there I'll to add just to your team. You've got Monior. You've got twenty two. A lot of options actually. And yeah, so unfortunately, Cena, you can't see him because he is dead now. And uh, Zoom as the well. Zoom, zoom, the zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom. That would have been a really zoom. awesome Pokemon, but honestly. I kind of like, I had to make a choice on who was going to die to that continental crush. I mean, that was actually Jangmo, but anyway, um, I do have a new egg here. And then I do have these three Pokemon that I could add to the team as well. But I think I'm going to just hatch first. Uh, and we'll yeah, I don't blame you. I would, I would hatch first too, man. See what you got. Yep. See what you got working with there. So Eugene is going to be boxed for now, but may make an appearance at some point. I feel like it actually would fit the mold of my team. It would give me another dragon. So, you know. And we got... Ooh, oh, Komala. Komala. Dang, like before the LP started, I was Komala. actually saying it would have been pretty cool if one of us gets Komala because it's like definitely a unique Pokemon uh, with that whole ability. Comatose. Yeah, that's actually really cool. So you've got Komala. And what else will you have? I don't know if I'm going to add it to the team, though, but <laughs> I think that's it. I don't have another encounter. Oh, you, you don't? Want? Mm, I don't think so. I think I already did all the rest of them, but anyway. All right, why don't we do a quick cut? You could rare candy up the Pokemon up to the proper levels and then make the decision of what you want to add, right? Yeah, sure, and right. uh, we'll see you in a bit. We're back at the Hano Grand Resort, and before we head inside, I'm going to show you guys the Pokemon I ended up picking for my team. And as you will see, Loopy is the nickname for the Komala. <laughs> Pretty cool. I was debating Loopy or Looper, but I think Girl Loopy fits a little better. I like that it's got Play Rough, though. Um, but yeah, level 22. And of course, Fanta, the mini or also 22. Very cool. With self Pretty awesome move there. Self-destruct, <laughs> ready to rock. So. Oh, man, it is just not a good Nuzlocke Pokemon right now. But hey, man, it, I might have to use it. I never know. You never know. But it may be very important. Yep. Let's head in here, man. And I, I actually uh, remembered we never really answered. I never got to say my favorite vacation. Oh, yeah, the vacation. question of the day. I know we got so um, distracted. So, yeah, while well, we talked to Faba here, I mean, So you've got last, forgive me. You may call me Faba. Oh, I, how did I know his name is Faba? Well, anyway, <laughs> I'd rather hear your story than what he has to say. Oh, so really? Go on. Well, to summarize, he's going to take us to the Ether Paradise. So All either right. way. And he's, everyone else um, is joining us, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't quite been to Ether Paradise, but I have been pretty close to Paradise in Puerto Rico, which is actually where I was born. But I feel like actually um, we did do a family vacation. We went to like the west coast of Puerto Rico. So. Um, basically, the entire like urban area is kind of in the northeast. So if you go the further to the west you go on the island, like the more kind of naturey it becomes. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we had like a little uh, beach house that my aunt had, I think, and she like let us have it for like a whole weekend. And it was super dope. We literally were like beachfront beach house. It was super nice. Like uh, they had like um, I don't know if it was like a festival going on at the time, but there was definitely a lot of music and like partying going on. And uh, yeah, I think I just really love the beach. So. I would say that because it was a super cool family vacation too. Um, that was probably my favorite one. Look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it on my head. He was like, he's just pissed. I that. thought he, I finally had a one up on you. He doesn't like my story, dude. That's it. Hey, he's gonna hate. How's <laughs> gonna hate, man? But yeah, I'm gonna say, man, Puerto Rico is a pretty good vacation spot. So if you guys, um, any of you out there that are trying to go to a less expensive Hawaii someday, <laughs> that might be a good option. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I think any cool places. Well, um, <laughs> so I went on my honeymoon, but I'm not going to talk about my honeymoon. I will talk about what I thought was the best vacation place that I've ever been to was Atlantis. Not what? the real one. Uh, what? The, the, one, the one in the Bahamas. Uh, so outside of Nassau in the Bahamas, they have the Atlantis Resort. And it's actually, I've been there twice now in my life. been very lucky to go twice. Uh, very awesome vacation spot, uh, especially if you pick a good time of the year where it's not too busy there. But they have a beach and everything, and then there's the resort itself is just beautiful. There's an underwater, uh, an underwater aquarium. <laughs> yes, there is an underwater aquarium. No, there is an underground aquarium that kind of spans most of the resort, um, which is really cool because it's all about being in Atlantis, you know, kind of thing. Uh, and it's just really sweet, man. I don't know. I just really have I, it's been a while since I've been there But I just have like really good memories of going there and having a good time I went when I was like 12 and then I went again when I was like maybe maybe oh, it was stop. like 20 21 or 22 So I got to experience as a kid and when I was adult, too um, And I just remember it was a lot of fun I went with my family and it was just a good vacation, but pretty pretty pricey I would guess but uh, definitely a pretty sweet vacation spot so sounds awesome man like the underground aquarium I just I can just kind of envision that a little bit yeah it's cool so here's Miss <laughs> Wick one of our employees asking you about a meeting on Akala so we do get to the other paradise here we have finished up on Akala Island which is great yep. making moves here we get to check out what's going on here in the other paradise maybe meet some cool people who knows you know but uh, we're here yeah, with I have no idea what's gonna be going on here man. Uh, no clue man no all clue. I know is that these other people are just such nice individuals and they've been 
been so hospitable. Oh, I know to it's us. Miss Wick here. You know, she's uh, she's pretty nice. Nice to meet her. Very nice to meet you. There's uh, there's Dixie coming back <laughs> from the dead. Oh, like once again. Oh, that's so sad. They have there's so many Orang gurus like in Alola, just, just randomly, everywhere. Yeah. Just a reminder. <laughs> uh, pretty sad stuff. Man, it's just not the same without Dixie. But we've got pretty interesting squads now. Like I really like the mining or that you have. Yeah, I I'm like excited the new to see Kamala. So like, we've it's had pretty sad like that you know that I lost those Pokemon to uh, Miss Olivia, but I feel like the new Pokemon I got are pretty interesting too. So I'm excited. And here we are, and the cool, the coolest part of the paradise, in my opinion, is the uh, the conservation area. Oh yeah, I love this place. You get to see all sorts of stuff, and this is where they tell us about our good friend Toxapex. Oh really? Yeah, she mentions Toxapex. Corsola, for example, they're quite terribly overhunted by a Pokemon called Toxapex. I wonder why. I hope you don't mind. I read a passage from my Pokedex, and there's the Corsola right there, like, please <laughs> save me, Starmie, please. <laughs> Toxapex crawls along the ocean floor on its 12 legs. It leaves a trail of Corsola bits scattered in its wake. That's, Beep. Yeah, that's pretty, uh, <laughs> that's pretty brutal, man. Just Corsola bits all over the ocean floor. Just, ugh. What are you going to do, man? What are you going to do? But Why is Miss Wick a robot, by the way? <laughs> well, I was trying to do a Pokedex voice. Oh, okay. I got you. Like got it was you. like the Rotom was reading it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. This is big boy. <laughs> Right. Why does the Rotom decks call you Big Boy? That's my that is my question to uh Why doesn't all the other decks call me Big Boy? Right? That would be my question though if I like I feel so like uh I guess lucky that I got to meet Masuda already during E3 and oh my gosh man that was insane that you could have had the chance too, but I kind of ran into him. Oh, thanks randomly. for reminding me. <laughs> I ran into him randomly on the floor though, so it's not like it was a like a, a plan meet and thing. or something. Yeah. What did you say to him? Um I think I just said looking forward to Sun and Moon and I was like I don't know. I mean, he didn't like, I, don't, I didn't know how much English he knew. So I was just like, sun and moon hype. Like, I was just like, can we take a picture? Um, and I think he had his translator with him, but you know, I didn't really want to bother him or anything. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if I'd run into Omori though, who was the director on sun and moon, I'd ask him, what is up with the, what were we just talking about? Well, you said you were at E3. Oh yeah, what is up with the Pokedex calling us big boy? That's what, <laughs> I, was, that's what I would ask him, my bad. But yeah, I'm making my way over here. I noticed a uh, new character there. I'm not yeah, who sure could this be? who this could be. My sweet Pokemon, I promise I'll keep you safe. I'll protect you with my love. Ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> and by the way, I miss E3, guys. I was supposed to stay with Munch at E3, but I missed my flight. And I couldn't afford to get a new one. Hey, that could have been the coolest vacation you ever had, man. No. Honestly, it's pretty Don't close. Don't remind me, I was so bummed. That might be one of my go. top three. You must be a drive and munch. Welcome to Ether Paradise. I'm the president of the foundation, but please just call me Lusamine. I'm only 48. <laughs> I'm glad there are people like you who travel across the islands to learn about Pokemon. Is she really 48? There's she's, no way. She's 40, yeah, 48. Oh my God, no way. I don't know, man. What? Oh my. All right, I don't even know. You're I not even know that much she's... older than us. Oh, you sweet boy, I'm already over 40. Jeez. I'm saying. Okay. You then. are. She's got that anti-aging cream, guys. Ugh. Geez. I don't know if it's Maybelline or what. You... Wait, what? She's got the ultra juice. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Gotta pick up a sweet outfit. I love how we mentioned Lily here. I gotta say though, Lusamine does have a striking resemblance to our friend, but I'm sure there's no connection there. No, not at all. The eye color especially, I just, yeah. complete coincidence. Yeah. Someone else in the game has that same eye color too. I'm trying to think. Yeah, definitely not a blonde person though. Yeah, definitely <laughs> not. Definitely not another guy who runs a set of islands outside. What, what of was that tremor? Something's apparently trembling. Oh gosh, what's oh, going on here? Oh my goodness. It is time, dude. I'm sorry we didn't sync it. I kind of forgot this was about to happen, but... Oh, man. It's about to... Oh, man. I didn't switch my party around either. I have, like, the worst lead for this, too. Jellyfishing. 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 <laughs> you ever been jellyfishing? I'm ready. I'm ready. You ever been jellyfishing, Dan? Because we're about to. We're about to. I remember, yep. like... Do you remember all the times when the game was... Before it came out and everyone was theorying about... Um, how UB01 was related to Lily? Oh, yeah. I mean, I still kind of feel that there is a connection there, but we I guess- We just don't know it yet. Yeah, I guess like we're not sure. Pokemon we're Stars, gonna... they're gonna announce it. Miss Lusamine, stand back, that thing's not right. It's actually just super cold, it looks like, really. Hmm. You poor, poor creature. creature. Jinx, you owe me a soda. What, what kind of soda? Fanta? Fanta? Fanta the Minior? Oh, I can switch my Pokemon. You wanna okay. just trade my Minior for your uh, Rakisha? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> All right. Well, it is actually kind of cold. It said brr, 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 and I totally forgot to switch Pokemon. So Dan, I'm heading into this battle. Not exactly prepared. I'm gonna one-shot it, dude. Lily seems like she's enjoying this battle. <laughs> my, I'm gonna one-shot it. Lily the Lily Pop. Um, who's, who are you about to send in? I'm sending in my man Jet Skis. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, there's definitely no levitate on this thing, even though it is clearly it's, hovering it's above four the ground. Yeah, right? It's four <laughs> times weak to ground, um, and its defense is equivalent well, to the 
a paper bag, but I guess it just rose sharply, so never mind. I don't have any ground moves, so I guess I'll just uh, keep your boy, or actually your girl, Pom Pom, out here. Wow, because, Pom Pom wow, took some damage. How the heck does that hurt so much? And this is going to do nothing. That sucks. I just use Venice Shot. Let's see how much it does to my little Jed here. Um, I do have Oliver, but I definitely don't want to send him into a Veno Shock. No, that sounds like a bad so, idea. So, hmm, who could actually take this on? It's I guess super effective. I guess Pom Pom's my best bet. Let me go for the Drain Punch then. I feel like the Revenge is just not doing as much as I'm hoping for. And oh my gosh, what is that? Oh boy, it went for Psywave. Please don't knock me out. Yeah, that's what it did to me. Okay. Wait a second. Shouldn't Psywave have been like super duper effective against my Pokemon? Uh, I think Psywave is a very interesting uh, move where it. it it fluctuates on damage, doesn't factor in typing, I don't believe. Okay, yeah, that's good because... It's a very weird move. Pom Pom would have been destroyed if that was actually a psychic move. Four times super effective. I'm pretty right. sure you don't actually have to knock out the... Knock it out. I think it runs after a little while. Yeah, I, I can't even get it low enough to run. And I'm like kind of scared. The Venom Shock did too much there. Like, I, I, I wouldn't probably risk just it, dude. Heal. Yeah. Can I run away? <laughs> Can I just run, please? What else do you have? You got Kamala, you got Minior. I think Minior could switch in, right? No, maybe? Yeah, but I don't think Minior could really damage it. It's only got a uh, self destruct. <laughs> right, I went for Psy Wave, so now you can live a hit. Yeah. So you could drink. be good. Punch. As long as I can get it down, it just runs away. Just please. I'm not trying to catch this weird jellyfish thing. Really? Still not full? Or still not half? All right. You need a dire hit, bro. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There, oh, it is. there it is. Okay. So it fled. I knocked it out, but it's okay, man. I had, Did you I had really? bulldoze. Yeah. Wow. I, <laughs> I just I had two bulldozes was uh, enough. If I had the drill burr, but man, I got unlucky that the drill burr is like so low level. All right. So luckily enough, Lucimine is actually going to take us to the next island. So we're heading our way over to Ula Ula Island. And can you believe Ula Ula. we are going to be on the third island? Dude, I can't already. believe it. Ula Ula already. Lily's hyped about Ula Island. I'm actually really excited because I think Ula uh, Island. I'm not sure. Wh did we ask before uh, which was my favorite island? I, I feel like I might have said Akala because of the three trials, but Ula Ula is definitely close second for me. Like, Ula Ula is sick. There's yeah. some, definitely some pretty cool stuff there, including the opportunity to, to catch a whole bunch of new Pokemon. Catch new Pokemon, <laughs> and my favorite totem Pokemon is there. We've got uh, oh, really? Ace Rollers trial. We can evolve our nice little ice types as well, which is always nice. We're getting there. Gee, I wonder what your favorite totem Pokemon could be, Dan. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder what it could be. I wonder why I didn't hatch uh, Grubbin on this place. And I wonder how you might know that that's coming up. I just... <laughs> oh, no, I saw the poster. It was a poster or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, at the Nintendo store. Yeah, they had yeah. the posters. We don't, I don't know. I've never played this game before, so <laughs> I don't know. But. All right, well, I think it's time to head off. I think you're already... Yep, you're on um, your way, yeah, man. Sorry, man. I, uh, Hal was so hungry. He was like, come on, A-Tribe. Let's go. Hey, I'm honestly pretty hungry, too, man. I could go for a big malasada right now. Why don't we go get some, some Moe's after this? For sure. Do you, wait, some of me? Yeah, we're going, <laughs> we're going to Moe's after this. So we're going to break down that fourth wall for a second. We're going to get Moe's after this. Just so you know. <laughs> Why does that break the fourth wall? Well... I guess it doesn't. <laughs> I think the whole idea, it's so weird because like we're recording a series, but like, you know, we're here. Yeah. And we're obviously not recording one episode a day. Like yeah, everyone yeah. else sees it. Mm -hmm. I hate it. Sorry guys, spoilers. Fourth wall breaking. <laughs> this, in case you couldn't tell from our clothes, because Dan always has the same Yeah, that's, anyway. that's the key. I was like, if I just wear the black V-neck every day, then no one will know what day it is, but you mm -hmm. messed that up by wearing your, your super awesome Link You should show off your hoodie, man, that oh, we yeah, got yesterday sure. at the Nintendo Store. I haven't raged yet, so I haven't like gotten to stand up or anything, but check it out, pretty that, awesome. That, I almost bought the same one, it's and really it's cool. And it's got the NYC right there, so you know it's like an exclusive. It's a sick hoodie, dude, To the Nintendo I love it. Store, yeah, I like it, it's hoodie too, so. You know what, let's get it on, man. We're in let's Johto? Wait, what? Oh, what the heck? We're in Johto, bro. That's cool, dude. Johto. Yep, we made it all the way to Johto. Wh which town in Johto are we in? Uh, Jojo Town. Jojo Town, okay. Uh, Ikritik City? Oh yeah, it does remind me of Ikritik, actually. I was trying to think, like, what's the, like, Japanese kind of town? Yeah, I think that's... Definitely Ikritik with the whole brass tower and the other one. Yeah, we gotta battle Morty now. Alright, well, I just made Oh it god, I just, I just oh, said what? I'm battling him. Wait, what? I'm battling Hal right now. Is that a problem? I don't know. I haven't, oh, I haven't okay. determined that yet. Well, I haven't good luck, man. Him. I've just made it. We got the Pelippers. We get to see, uh, the oh, same he's got scene. a Z-ring, too. Oh, oh god, Oh no. no. Does he actually use a Z move? I didn't know that. Write you a love song. I am not looking forward to that battle. All right, I have a. Oh man, do I think his Raichu can one shot me with a psychic move right now? I doubt it. I'm going mm. for it. Bulldoze! Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh god, oh, please no. don't one shot me with psychic. Please Dude, don't. This is gonna be powerful. I don't think it will. No! Oh my gosh, two HP. Oh my god. Dude, oh, that was insane. Oh my god, Jet. 
That Jet, was insanity, dude. You little legend. Oh you my goodness. little. Can you evolve, Jet? Jesus, man. You're making me nervous, Jet. Dude, I'm fighting the same battle, and I am not leading off with the right Pokemon. I've got Pom Pom. Definitely gonna die to a psychic. That is the worst Pokemon to lead with. And the, the other thing is, uh, obviously my Torcat's still not a Dark type, so I can't even switch out to the Psychic. Man, something is gonna take a Psychic right now on my team, and uh, oh my goodness, Jet. I'm not looking Jet, forward to it. Little legend. Who's got the highest? Who's got the highest special defense here? Probably this guy. Maybe not though. Well, he's got a great defensive stat before he goes into shield form. Yeah, apparently. So I think when you look at him there, he's not in shield form. Yeah, but I'm still taking a look. I guess I'll I'll switch into that, because honestly, Pom Pom is not taking a Psychic, so let's just hope for the mini or here. Okay, thankfully, he's not going to be in this form. And by the way, it's totally orange. I know I was saying that my mini or was yellow, but it is totally orange. Oh my god. Oh my... Dude, that hurts like way too much, man. And he got the special defense drop. Oh, and I don't I don't know. I know that Minior in this form is pretty quick, but I, I highly doubt it'll be quicker than a Raichu, right? No. Oh, uh, actually, goodness. if you were a higher level, I would say maybe. But Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm level 22. Holy crap. This is tough, dude. I actually don't really have a good switch in here, so... You're telling me, dude. I'm trying to figure um, out how I'm going to beat this Vaporeon right now. And I feel like I shouldn't even heal up because another Psychic will totally kill me. You don't have anything to switch in? Mm, not that I can You don't really think you think can go into Torkat? I feel like I could, but it'll probably two-shot me with another Psychic. So, you know what, man? This might be it. I feel like I got I to gotta go for it. I got to try it. And it's totally going to be quicker. Oh my gosh, the Electro Ball too. That's super effective, yeah. Well, <clears throat> so much for Minior, huh? Poor Phantom. So much for Minior, wow. Not much you could do there. That Honestly, all I could have done is expected this battle to be coming up and put Garful up first, but having... Oh man, this is pretty tough. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm having a hard Minior. time with this Vaporeon too. Like, I'm like struggling against this thing. Man, I feel like... Oh wow, like, that does so much. Yeah, that does a lot. At least Crunch is super effective. That'll definitely take and it out. And it's frail as all heck. Critical hit, too. Probably not needed, but I, I'll take it. Why not? Oh, my goodness. This is like oh, every man. battle has been such a struggle. Yeah. I mean, that one, I can't even, like, I just had the wrong Pokemon leading the party, I guess. Even but. so, though, like, no switch-ins, man. No switch-ins. That, too. Yeah, I just, I need a Psychic type or, like, a Dark type on the team. I mean, I'll, oh, what? What the heck? I forgot he was going to have Near this match. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Um, and I'm a little bit scared about his. He's actually pretty high level, so let me just heal up real quick. Oh man, I just realized you got uh, you got the Pokepelago hearts now too, or sorry, the refresh hearts. Yeah, we ha I haven't gotten them all the way up. Do I think he's gonna use the Z move right now? So you'll be getting a little bit more experience. No, his Z move that. would be the normal Z move. Does he use the Grass Z move? Um, I don't think so. I don't think he's gonna use a Z move at all, to be honest. I don't but... know if I want to risk it. You know what? I'm not risking it. We're gonna go into Cha Cha because I think Cha Cha would be able to take it. Yeah. If he went for a grassy move, because I have four times resist grass. Okay. So let's see what he does. Let's see, because he might have Bloom Doom. I have no idea, you know? He's got the pluck. Yeah, I just, I don't think he has a Z move, honestly. I don't think he gets it until, uh, until the final evolution, you know? And then he gets, like, well, I'm going to hit him move. with a Feather Dance right now, so we're going to drop his attack stat down a little bit there. Oh my gosh, never mind, he has it! And he's going for it on my Toracat. Is it normal, or is it... It's probably going to be the... Hydro, oh, yeah, the, the Inferno Overdrive. I was wow. about to say Hydro Vortex. I don't know why. Are you going to live it? Yeah, I, I healed up, and I'm a fire type, so should be good. Should be good, right? I'm surprised right. he hasn't used it on me yet. Okay, nice job tanking it up, Garful. I, I think switching was like a good decision, because I feel like he was going to totally use it on me. Yeah, he might have. I mean, now he's probably not going to, but anyway, there he goes. And his last Pokemon is an like Evolution usually, right? So yeah, mine was mine is Leafy on actually, oh, so it works out. Mine for me. was Vaporeon. It was so hard to beat too. <laughs> works out for me. I had man. such a hard time against. I am it. a little bit low HP though, so I'm a little bit scared. Okay, Quick Attack won't be too bad. All right, man. I kind of feel like I need to level up or grind up my team a little bit though, because I keep having um. Like, my, I have three Pokemon that are really good, and then the other three are, like, just not good at all. So, I might uh, train up a little bit before we take on Ula Ula, if you don't mind, because... Yeah, yeah, maybe we should, we should set up. a goal and, like, set everyone to a certain level or something. I don't know. Yeah, I think for Ula Ula, like, somewhere around 28 should be good. Yeah, maybe we'll we'll just try to get the whole team up to 28. Yeah, I think, I think that would be fair. a pretty good level. Because, um, yeah, definitely, I'm, I feel like I'm going to keep having those moments where, like, Minior <clears throat> just has to get sacrificed because it's so low level. But, hey, man, at least we beat Hau. I lost another Pokemon, though. Oh, man. 
All right, so I'm gonna head to the Pokemon Center here and you can choose to add something to your team or you can choose to let it be, I guess, right? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna let it be for now. Let it be, let it go. All right, I wanna see what Pokemon I have here. Whether, that battle, how I said it are. took his breath away, but I think it took something more than my breath away. Oh my goodness. Took away my Fanta! I can't believe it. I was excited about Fanta too. I was excited about Meteor what too. I got here? It just, uh, 31, 27, 29, 25, 28, 29. Oh, so only, only Frida really needs to be leveled up for me. Goodbye. Yeah, so. I need to definitely level up this Komala and Oliver. I guess he's not too terribly below. Actually, Pom Pom is 25 too. All right, so we'll, we'll set them um, all up to 28, so. Why don't yeah. we uh, why don't we call it here? We had a pretty interesting episode, and yeah. uh, we'll do some off screen grinding. We'll be back with a, a team a few levels higher. Oh, you did you want to add a new Pokemon? Yeah, right I now, think or? honestly, I, I was kind of looking at it, and I think I do. Since we're gonna be training anyway, I, I think I do kind of want to add L. Okay. You know, my final bug Pokemon, and I know it's one of your favorites, at All least right. the evolution. Well, it so. gets to go up to twenty eight now. So hmm, let's do it. Why not? All right, sounds good. That's gonna be that, take us out. This is all, right, this is all well, you, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. We made it to Ula Ula, so I hope you're excited for this third island, and we will see you in the next episode. So, peace out.